Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing problem number 2 and 3 on Venn diagrams. Welcome back friends, let us discuss problem number 2 and 3. Last video we discussed problem number 1. We are ready with the structure, we just need to fill the things and get the result. So let us start. See here, in the first problem we need to prove LHS is equal to RHS. So this is your LHS, let us break it uh, down. So A, so let us shade A, this is my A. While shading A, don't bother about B and C, just shade A as it is. B minus C, this is my B. Initially the entire B is selected and from B I'm going to subtract C. Therefore I will be left with this particular part. Because initially this part was also there as a part of B. But we subtracted C, therefore this is the result B minus C. And what is next? A minus B minus C. That means from this particular shade, I am going to subtract this shade. So what will be the result? C. First of all, whatever will be we will be left with will belong to A. This is for sure. From A we are subtracting this. That means this is my result A. And from A I am going to subtract this particular part. Therefore, this part will come this part C will be subtracted that means this region will not come into the solution this part is not subtracted so this part will come into the solution as well as this part is not subtracted so that will come into the solution therefore if you subtract this particular diagram from this only this part will be subtracted this will come this will come as well as this part will come so this is your A minus B minus C so this is the advantage. If you have both the diagram by looking at this, you can find it out this particular uh, region. Let's move on and let's discuss this A minus B. So initially the entire A is selected. From that we are subtracting B. That means we'll be left with this particular region. So while finding A minus B, don't bother about C. Initially the entire A is selected. From that we subtracted B part. That means this part will be subtracted. Here the next is A intersection, B intersection, C. That means common between all. And in the next diagram, we need to take union. Union means whatever in both the diagram, we're going to consider it. So this will be selected. Next, this part will also come. And this part will also come. Now let us check whether they are identical or not. See here, they are equivalent. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. So when diagrams are very simple, you just need to be careful while uh, drawing it. Let's discuss this problem. First of all, A. So this is A. B XOR C. B XOR C means whatever common in B and C, we're going to leave that part and remaining part will be shaded. See, B intersection C means this particular part. That is common. B XOR C means whatever is common between B and C, we're going to, not going to consider that part and remaining part we're going to shade. See the way I'm doing it. A. I know what will be A, but still I am doing it. So please write it down properly so that there will be no confusion. Once you are ready with both the regions, now I am going to take its intersection. Now don't bother about the question. We are ready with both the shades. We just need to take their intersection. Means whatever is the common that I am going to consider. So what is common between these two? Let's check. See this, this part is common. So this part will come into the solution. What else? Anything else common? This part is not common. This is not common. That's it. Only this part is common. Nothing else. So only this part will be shaded. Yes, there is one more part common. See here, this one. This shade is also common. So that will also come. See, that is the reason I'm drawing A. Generally, what students do is they ignore this A part. Because they think, yes, A is the entire circle. So uh, I just need to take intersection with and they just draw this. Please don't do that. Once both the diagrams are ready in front of you, you can easily calculate. So don't try to imagine it. Just break down the question, draw and check. Suppose there is one more part here. Let's say, let's say intersection something. So first part will come, second diagram will come and let's say here intersection C. Draw one more diagram and shade C and then try to find it out its intersection. So please do it. From experience, I am saying students generally make this mistake. 
they don't consider this a they they try to imagine and then they end up messing messing up everything so please follow the procedure let's come back here a intersection b means whatever common between a and b so this part will be shaded a intersection b is c means whatever common so a intersection c means this part will be shaded and what else xor xor means common part leave it and remaining so what is the common part between these two that i'm going to leave it between these two only yeah so whatever is the common part what is the common part see here this session is common we're going not going to consider it whatever left this one and this one between these two only now we are not talking about this a b and so on between these two whatever is common leave that part and whatever is uncommon shade that region so between these two selected region this is your common part we're not going to leave it this is your uncommon part that we're going to shade it now if you check these two are equivalent that's it we're done with venn diagram so do it properly draw step by step that is the only key that's it student try to imagine the things and they end up messing up the things so draw it properly you will easily get your result hope you understood we're done with it thank you